Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 270. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my equal host, comedian Noel W. Herzog, the Sicilian Serpent. I like being an equal host. I like that you're my equal host too. I have lipstick on my teeth just forever, every day. You love that though. You actually put your lipstick on your teeth on purpose, right? I do. I think it's a new look. Do you think that'll come in style? I think it's here. (laughs) I think it's here to stay. I am groundbreaking is what you're saying. I just choked as I was talking. I'm groundbreaking. Last night I hosted a show at New York Comedy Club and it was um, the two hosts of Are You Garbage and then their producer. I love them. They're so funny. So uh, I bring up the producer first and I'm like, you could hear him on Are You Garbage? Then the second uh, guy comes up, Kevin Ryan, and I'm like, uh, he's the host of Are You Garbage? And then uh, H. Pulley comes on, who's the third, who's the other host. And I'm like, He's the host of Are You Garbage? They must think that I was just making up. It's like, is everyone just, I should have brought up the next comic and be like, she's also the host of Are You Garbage? Everyone's yeah. the host of Are You Garbage? I'm the host of Are You Garbage? And you are That's the host true. of Are You Garbage. You know, what's funny is in my mind, mm-hmm. it was guys we fucked. Okay. Well, um, that I'm is the not wrong okay. I'm very tired. I see that. Also, um, I've been on both of those podcasts. So check out my episodes. Those girls make me LOL. Yes. They I are, love them. They are silly gooses. They're silly geese. I love them. I Corinne and had Christina. just a shirt. Yeah. No, she had just a shirt on in her picture from skank fest. Okay. You could see like <laughs> the top of her vagina. Meat. I, <laughs> I could see her, her non-existent C-section. Style. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I was like, oh, I see that you don't need a bikini wax. That's what I see. <laughs> I like it. Oh boy. Uh, if you guys want to hear more about, uh, if you guys want to hear about the trip with my mom, this, oh week, join my God. Patreon. we have so many things to tell you on Patreon, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for all of our deepest, darkest secrets. You know where to go. It's right there in the show notes right there in the show notes. It's down there. It's down there. If you guys are listening to us on audio, Go subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, you think you're ugly. Just subscribe to us on audio. I like that you're wearing all shades of pink, by the way. Thank you so much. It's like purples and pinks. You look very good. It's your crown jewel colors. Thank you. Thanks for noticing. I will always notice. I'm just chugging the soda because I just had so much sodium, like my month's intake of sodium. So oh, that's good. Soda is yeah. good to balance it out. Well, no, I had water, but now I need something mm. sugar. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Uh, season one, episode six and Salty seven. Salty sugar. <laughs> uh-huh. Episode six and seven of um the new chapter. I took notes like a moron. Okay, so I was going to say, Tracy, taking notes for this was rough, right? It was rough. So here's the thing. I started off taking notes about Kayla. Caden tie, right? Then I turned to the next page and I took notes for Leah. But I only have one line for each girl and then I just started then, taking them group. all together so I had to actually put numbers on my sections on where to go it's like a choose your adventure oh, notes oh I have Kate mm-hmm. Leah Bree Cheyenne Ashley group okay and one line for every girl I figured it out but okay. it's not good like we're gonna have to do a lot of jumping let's jump I'm not jump scared. around jump around jump up jump up jump up and, get and jump down. yeah jump 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 exactly like that <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> we're going to start off uh, season one, episode six and seven. I think we should do the episode separate. Yeah. I yeah. took notes separate. Okay. Cause okay. it was not, this is not possible to do it all together. No, my head would spin. I couldn't <laughs> figure out how to do that. Yeah. All right. So um, we're going to start off season one, episode six of the new chapter. We're starting off. We're jumping in the pool with a big, big deck gap with Kate and Ty with a big spider gap where, where the Loch Ness monster lives. Is someone being bad? I have a cardboard box in here and mm. she's ripping the side off of it. Oh, good. Perfect. To get my attention because I'm podcasting. This is uh, Peggy Abolucci. Yeah. Okay. She needs my attention at all times. Like I'll eat and then she'll like bite my shoelace and look at me like, mm. hello, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Uh, so yeah. Kate and Ty are, they're picking out a rice for dinner. Are they? I just have that. She calls Macy. Did I miss that? Yeah, they were picking out a rice and she's like, uh, what are their options? Apparently there are a lot of rice options. And also she's like, you know, it's going to take like an hour. Interesting. Are they making kanji? (laughs) They're making, uh, I guess, I guess they're making the longest grain rice in the world. I don't know. You know, there are, I haven't explored the world of rices. I know you're not good at rice. I feel like, like I've never had wild rice. 
Right. Uh, that's my least favorite rice. That's the black rice, right? Yeah, that's my least favorite. And you usually eat that mixed with other rices because it's so bad. It has a flavor, like a bad flavor? Uh, like dirt, like soil. Oh, mm-hmm. glad I don't have it. Yeah, and then like you, your body just doesn't digest it. It's good. It's delicious. <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> so now she FaceTimes with um, Macy. Macy. And they're going to go glamping in mm-hmm. Florida mm-hmm. for Amber's birthday because Amber loves Florida. Amber was born in Florida. That's why she loves it. Are you surprised? The only thing I can think of this whole time is like Florida woman. You know what I was thinking this whole time? Tracy would never do this. If she was on the show, she'd like, oh, I'm sorry. My I mom is calling it. me. I am uh-huh. grounded that week. And that's so weird because also every other week you decide to go. I'm also grounded that week for the rest of my life. You want me to sleep in Florida with no air conditioner outside? Mm-hmm. Florida. We could have picked any place. We could have gone right. to Why a can't hotel we up in Wisconsin. Why can't we you go know? to the hotel? I don't know. It's the summer. We can't go to the hotel. Yeah. Why would you do it in the summer? That's the crazy part. Of shit. Well, that's her. It's for her birthday. Yeah. But like pretend. Okay. I feel like, do you think that Amber would have picked this for her birthday? No. I don't know what she would have picked. She would have picked her couch. You know what you going to pick? Right. But definitely not this. No, she wouldn't pick glamping. No way. Okay, so you know how the Florida woman, like how you could Google it. Mm -hmm. Um, I love these. I I just it makes me think of um, it makes me think of Amber when I see Florida woman, because now I'm like, oh, of course she loves Florida. So um, I'm looking here. So uh, Florida woman, here are some of the the headlines. Let's Uh, hear it. Let's see. Where are we? Uh, thong wearing. Oh, these are Florida man. A Florida woman drops pants, licks man, dances naked in Waffle House parking lot. It's meant to be with Ambi. Florida woman threatens hair salon with machete. Poops in patrol car. Gross. I'd quit my job. Okay, but machete, that is Amber's favorite. It's Amber-esque. It's very flip-flop shetty. Also, like we didn't make up the machete part. That's real, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like we've made it into such a joke. I forget what's real <laughs> and what's not anymore. No, you know, that yeah. is definitely, definitely real. Okay, seventy-three-year-old woman was worried about the meth she was smoking, so she took it to her doctor. Sounds great. Florida woman, seventy-three, also seventy-three, scares off naked intruder who was gyrating in a lewd manner by taking out her dentures and yelling, "Grandma, no teeth." What's up with Florida? Um, it's not meth. We don't have that problem in New York, really. We're gonna, we're gonna soon. You it's, think we're gonna get meth? Eighty six yeah, to H sub meth. Oh, here's one for you, Noel. Florida Tell woman me. breaks into home, makes sandwich. I mean, I love a sandwich. Ooh. I bought so many different types of breads today. <laughs> you brought a lot of cheeses and breads. Florida couple uses pet alligator to reveal 10th child's gender. What was the gender? I, I don't know. Oh, I think it was a girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's so nice. Um, So now that's why Amber loves Florida. That's all I wanted okay. to say. Okay. <clears throat> so they're like, you know how Amber hates flying and hates camping and hates leaving her house. And hates the heat. We're going to fly her to Florida in the summer. Well, they said she's a recluse. Okay. I I, I just, I don't know. This is not where I would be. The thing is, though, you plan things according to what you like, not what the other person likes. You know what I mean? Not I don't mean towards me, but you would be like, you would never go glamping. Even if I would love love that idea, you're like, well, I'm not doing the heat. Okay. (laughs) But I don't think Amber would like this. That's why. I don't know. She seemed really into it. Every all she was this. like, can I drink? And they were like, sure. And she's like, whatever. I feel like she lived her best life on this trip. Well, Jade's going to fly with her. Right. Why? I, it's like they know each other. <laughs> well, they live in the same state. No, I know. But it's just so weird. What a random pair. Well, she needs a one on one. She can't. She's can't be on her. No, own. I know. I just feel like, Kate, go get your girl. Like, right? It's just weird that it's Jade. So she's a recluse. And Ashley is coming. That's what she tells them. Right. Ashley's like, yeah, I'm coming. 
Okay. Okay, cool. So let me go to number two. Leah. Leah, um, So she's with her friend. Right. Shalane, I think her name is. Yes. And they are talking about going on a trip. Right. On the trip. And she said that she wants to have fun, not like the last reunion. Yeah, she doesn't want to deal with it. We're digging up a storyline here. I here's the thing. I don't know if we're digging up a storyline because Mm -hmm. as we'll get into later, I think she was wrong. I think that she's being a big no, no, no. she was wrong. She was wrong. But this is still we're talking about something that we already knew about. Oh, no, no, I get that. But I just think she's uh, uh, like a she talks shit from her stoop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And now keyboard warrior. Yeah. Now she's scared. Yeah. All right. So now we move on qu- very quickly to Brianna. That was very fast. Uh huh. Cowboy attire. She has her cowboy cow hat on. She has on her flag cowboy boots. I, I was surprised that those were the boots that she chose. I was pretty shocked myself. But then again, she's a Florida woman. Right. She's a Floridian, but I didn't know she was so patriotic. Oh, she's super patriotic. So uh, she talks about how she's on meds now. And she said that Leah basically talked shit about them after the family reunion. Why is Brittany so fun? Yeah, Brittany's way more fun. She should have been on this trip. Yeah, she's like so much fun. She was like, who cares? Just have fun. Live your life. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. she's right, though. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving very quickly on to Cheyenne and Zach. Right. Ryder doesn't like just a pool vacation. Ryder needs variety in her vacations. Okay, I understand that. And Cheyenne calls Ashley and Ashley's like, I'm definitely coming. I just need top shelf liquor. Okay, and then she just kept saying liquor, liquor, liquor. If you can't get liquor, I'll bring liquor. This, that, and it's like, you know that bar has a problem with drinking? Mm. Well, guess what? She (laughs) doesn't care. No, she doesn't care. Moving very quickly over to Ashley and Bar, she's making mac and cheese. He's making chicken. And Ashley said that she will go, but she doesn't want to go. No, she said she told Cheyenne she's going, but she's not going. Right. So it's like, you're not even going, but why did you say you're going then? She wanted to. Yeah. It's like, here's the thing, right? And Mm -hmm. it's like, I, we know Ashley in person. She's very, very, very nice. Yeah. She is so problematic on the show. Yes. She just is. I got to tell you, totally agreed. Yeah. It's like. It, it's so funny because in person, she's the nicest yeah. girl. Her whole family so nice. Mm-hmm. On this show, it's like, you're mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like you're, you're starting a problem for no reason. Yeah, like, why? it's just so Be weird. honest, you're not going. Also, right. she had like a legit reason not to go. So why not just say that? Well, that's the thing. She really has stuff going on in her life. You could just say that. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Also, it's not like her and Amber are best friends. Right. So she doesn't have to go. It's fine. Just say right. it. Well, yeah, you missed her flight. It, that really just annoys me. I know it did. I was like, oh, no, I was going to be so mad. It made me so annoyed because it's like, get it together. This is new. You're Noel. a mom. You can't get on a flight. No, but here's the thing. It wasn't at six in the morning either. You know that this was like a regular ass time flight. Well, it doesn't matter because she used to, she would have to get up in the middle of the night to get anywhere anyway. She lives in West Virginia. Is she still on the outskirts? Where is She's she? On the outskirts. <laughs> so while well, Kate is dressed literally like Ronald McDonald. Yellow shirt. Yellow shirt, red hair. She is dressed like Ronald McDonald. I preferred purple on her. I loved her hair purple. It is red. It's rough. Do you know what Ronald McDonald looks like? This is the same outfit. Oh, I know what Ronald McDonald looks like. Yeah, she she, she has on the yellow shirt, the pants. She, she should have just had lipstick. on suspenders. She had on red lipstick. Lord help me. <laughs> well, they want Ashley to come. Mm-hmm. So they call her. And she's like, listen, Bar got home from rehab two days ago. Um, and it's like, so why didn't you say that? Why did you okay. tell everyone you were coming? Because also, like, that's not, like, true either. Like, you could tell because she's talking to Bar. And she's like, they asked me to go. I'm not going. I don't think they asked her a month before, before Bar went to rehab. I don't know, though. Well, here's the thing. Who knows? Because but- you don't know when they're actually filming things and then when it really happened. There's no way to know. I just, Well, there actually is. A, I can't even <laughs> Google it. But I just feel like, come on, this is just Ashley. Just say no. Just say no. Mm -hmm. Just say I can't come. Guys, have fun. So uh, Brianna picks up Amber and Jade at the airport, and Leah gets to the campsite. Mm -hmm. They're at Pioneer Village, and uh, they're gonna pop a bottle at Macy. Very cute. (laughs) Well, I mean, Macy's afraid of the loud noise. No, no, but I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm saying the whole thing is just very cute. Sure, but they're gonna pop a bottle at Macy. Yeah, but here's the thing. 
Macy's not scared of that. Okay. Well, everyone gets bracelets that say mm-hmm. teen mom. Sisters okay. But why life. do they have to say teen mom? Sisters I just feel like that's so lame. Why is everyone getting a present for Amber's birthday? Did they get Amber a present? Probably. What did they get her? Why can't we see it? I don't know. We couldn't see Deb's present on 90 day. I want to see this. Yeah, they don't show things like that. You guys aren't. They probably doing got a her job. blankets <laughs> and candles. A robe. She's very reclusy. A pillow. A pillow. Deodorant. Yeah. Dry hair spray. Dry, was it dry shampoo spray? Dry shampoo. It was dry uh, hair spray. <laughs> uh uh-huh. Um, hygienic wipes, wee wee pads, mm, wee wee pads. I like the human sound of that. wee wee pads. Um, human pads. Human pads, peep peep pads. Uh huh. Poo poo pads. Uh, depends. Okay. A snuggie. Um, lots of um, lots of wipes. Really. Yeah, I think she survives on wipes. Yeah, she yeah. looks like a wipe kind of girl. Mm-hmm. So it's pouring raining, and they're going to be going line dancing. They, but this is like. How much fun could you possibly have line dancing? That's the opposite of anything I want to do. Every single thing that they did. Yeah. It's almost like, I don't want to go on this trip. I don't want to go on this trip. And then you see them on the trip and it's like, I don't want to go on it more. And then the next thing they do, I'm like, I don't want to go on it even more. Right. And I'm like, even more, even more. Yeah. I don't want to ever go line dancing. I also loathe country music. Yeah. So now they're racing in the rain in a golf cart and Uh they're going to, what's going on? I'm going to have have to stop something. You have a kennel? Guys! Enough! No, well, this is inappropriate. Sorry. It's like, a, yes, I run a, a doggy daycare in my house, apparently. <laughs> there was like a, a dog fight in the hallway. My dog wow. is all up in the air. Oh, my God. <laughs> so um, they're doing this line dancing and they're racing. They're, they're, they race in a golf cart in the rain, which is... I'm like, I'm I can watch. I can. There's going to be blood in my hallway. It's just making okay. me laugh. Sorry. Where okay. is your mother? Isn't she helping? She just closed the door. She okay, just intervened. Good. Great. So um, there is one child in this bar. Do you see this child? No. I Let's see. A line dancing. No, I don't see a child. There's no one child. child. The last thing I wrote. Oh, I wrote. Amber has 90s boots. I saw I noticed Amber had 90s boots. Everybody else had on cowboy boots and Amber had on 90s boots. Well, uh, I love I actually. Oh, there was right. There was a blonde child. Yes. There. Just, I did and they just child. kept showing this one mm-hmm. child. I actually really liked Amber's outfit. She had on leather paper bag shorts and a lace top. So that's what I wrote down. I said, actually, I love it. She looks like she's from the craft. I think it's the cutest outfit. She looks cute. Yeah, I love it. She's got my favorite outfit on. But when I only saw her boots, I'm like, yeah, Amber. Very strange. But uh, Leah tries to order a sex on the beach. Also, her well, guess- hat is her new identity. She loves having a hat on. I've never seen her wear so many hats. She thinks life. she's like Steven Spielberg. Yeah, she's never. <laughs> she's never this whole episode not worn a hat. Yeah, she loves it. It's so lame. I don't know. What's going I on don't. With her. I'm over Leah. Yeah, I'm I'm after yeah. this after these two episodes, yes. I'm all the way yeah. over her. Mm-hmm. So uh Brianna talks to Cheyenne about Leah talking about her online. Right. And they said that they made a pact at the reunion that they were not gonna talk about each other online. Right. Fair enough. So why do it? Well, also, Bri- listen, I understand if you don't want to say anything to Brianna, because Brianna can be a lot, but like just say something then when you see her. You don't have to DM her about it. Or don't say anything. You don't, I mean, you don't have to say anything, but I guess they're young. Whatever. Well, Brianna yeah. talks to um to Cheyenne, but she's drunk. She's like litty titty, she says, right? Yes. <laughs> so uh Amber rides the bull. Mm-hmm. Jade rides the bull and they blur her butt. Do they? They just you know what I was noticing is Macy kept saying forward, forward, forward. And they were like making her like lay down on it almost. Yeah. Well, that's what you have to do. You have to find your center of gravity. I've I never guess. Ribbed, I've never ridden a bull. They blurred her butt, but she had on bike shorts. So how? I don't understand. They just blurred it. Interesting. It was very, unless it just came blurred. It's weird. This series in general doesn't show much of Jade. Even when she was like on the episode, yeah. she didn't even talk very much. Well, uh, Kate says because kate has to make everything sexual i know kate's like guys i have sex with a man and they're like yeah yeah okay cool 
Wow. Wow. She's like, ride it like you're riding a D. <sighs> okay, Kate, cool. I don't think that that's how you ride a mechanical bull. Okay, well, they're playing a weird card game where Jade has to put a tampon in her nose and then they're going to put it on their stories. When I tell you, it took me far too long to understand the story aspect of it. Yeah, that was and, a very strange way. Yeah. Let them story it. She yeah. even Jade was like, I don't know what that means. So I was like, what the hell does that mean? Very strange. So Amber tells Leah about all the work she's done on herself. Right. They're and- double fisting Starbucks. They have two different Starbucks drinks each. <laughs> These are my people. They love liquids. <laughs> She's done so much work. She's gone She's, to therapy and therapy and therapy and then gel and then therapy. Yeah, but therapy. you know something? It pains me to say this, but watching this, I'm like, Amber seems like the funnest one to hang out with. She said she seemed fine at this thing. She, I've never seen her so fun yeah, at something. She was fine. And it's like, maybe she kind of has reformed like a little bit. Cause she wasn't I've like anxiety, bipolar, anxiety, sure, bipolar. You I've know? seen her lines. I didn't even know she did them anymore. I, but that's what I'm saying. Like I've seen when she did them, they weren't great. No, I know. But I just you feel like this then? is the only time, the old, this is the only time I've ever seen her fun on a trip without doing like going a different route without yes. being like, this makes me anxious. This makes me anxious. Right. You know, just being weird. Yeah, I understand she seemed that. like a lot of fun. She seems like funny. So does Brianna. Well, um, Bubs might be taken away from her. She's not sure, but she doesn't see okay. it happening. So that's good. OK, that's, well, that's, that's good. Well, I'll, I got news for you, Amber. <laughs> Keep watching. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Brianna and Jade hang out and Jade doesn't want to wash her hair. And Brianna's Jade like, you're doesn't. my kind of girl. Mm-hmm. She's like, this is why we're friends. She's like, this is tell me more uh-huh. about how you don't want to wash your hair because I've never washed my hair in the history of hair. Not a day in my life. Mm-hmm. She's Although like, remember, it, she, Brianna's look pretty nice this episode. Yeah, because she probably had to get it done before she left because they were like, no, but even like finally she had on makeup. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. definitely looked better. So uh-huh. they talk about Leah and Ashley. And then Cheyenne FaceTimes her dad right. because she said that she doesn't feel safe. She's the only black person at the rodeo. Right. Um. Even though she didn't feel safe, even though Mackenzie's uh, husband, Josh, was there. Yeah. <laughs> he cut off. Oh, all also, the arms of I shirts. saw the comment that you made about her ring. With Mackenzie the Teen mom trash. Talk, OK, Mackenzie commented on. I think it was Teen Mom Chatters. OK, picture. it was so funny. Mackenzie McKee McGee mm-hmm. is trying to sell her pawn shop. Uh, Kay Jeweler. Ring. Yeah. You can't pawn shop a pawn shop ring. It's like Inception. Right. <laughs> and what did you say? What was your comment? She, I, I said something like um, she should throw it in the garbage instead. So many people are liking your comment. Really? That made me laugh. Yeah. I want to say something, but it's like. Look at the ring. Yeah, she thinks she thinks this is what you do. If I had that ring. Mm-hmm. First of all, I would have said no. Yeah, Second of you all, would never have gotten married. Uh huh. You think that I would have shown anyone with a post, even if I was going to sell? I would throw it in the river. I, I would find a river. I, I would know. have to find a river. When I saw that post, I'm like, girl, this isn't something. Of, you know, this isn't a good brag. No, I'm I'd... selling my ring. Why? For what? A dollar? Yeah, not good. It's not great. It's so, so bad. Yeah, it made me laugh because I was thinking, too. I'm like, I wonder what Tracy's going to think about this. And then I saw your comment and it made me laugh. Okay, I'm trying to look for the picture of the ring so that we could show all of the viewers. I think it's on Teen Mom Chatter. No, I know. But I think. um, Hold on. Let's see. It was it's just getting buried because we have so many things. Um, All right. Teen Mom Chatter. Uh, Okay. yeah, here's the ring. Okay, guys, wait until you see this ring. I don't know if you're going to ever. You're going to feel bad about your own ring. That's all I'm saying. Is that glitter from Michael's? Yes. Okay. Um, we saw that today in Michael's when we I went. did see that. Mm-hmm. Her descri- So someone said her description says featured on Teen Mom. Are you kidding me? Someone said that's not a bad price. It's not a bad price. What for is what? she selling it for? I don't even well, know. Oh, she said... Um, She's looking for best offer. So I said the best offer would be for her to throw in. That's what I saw. (laughs) That would be the best offer. Oh, God. I thought that was so funny. Oh, boy. So um, it's pouring raining. They're at this rodeo and Cheyenne and Macy leave. Right. Cheyenne's super uncomfortable. Guess what? What? I get it. 
Oh, no, 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 for sure. But I almost wish she would have like, I know that she wanted people to understand why she was uncomfortable, but like she could have communicated it at this yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. That's for all. sure. So like, guys, I'm super uncomfortable. Can we go? Right. Well, you I know? think she feels like she doesn't want to be a burden either. So I it's get like this it, con- but conflict. It is like there are so many white women uh-huh. who would never even think. Right. That well, she would be uncomfortable. Cheyenne complains about Confederate flag shirts. She's yes. talking about it to yes. the producer, Erica, who's also a black woman. And Erica's like, tell the girls. Yeah, because they don't know. Well, Cheyenne gets very emotional. And she said that the girls sitting next to them looked at Cheyenne and said, go home oh, with Confederate God. flag shirts. That. So Brianna's like, you know, I've actually never felt racism ever in my whole life. And it's well, like Brianna was saying that she went there before. Right. She, said but she, she went there with her kids and it wasn't like that. Sure. But also Brianna is also wearing American flag boots. Just saying. No, but she's not wearing Confederate fa- flag boots. Oh, you no, know what no, I no. Mean? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like she's kind of in it to win it. I get it. But I just feel like she. I don't think if she went there with her kids and she felt uncomfortable, she ever would have brought the girls there. No, no, I don't yeah. think that. Well, she also she was like, you know, my daughter Nova's black and Stella. Okay, so she said that, and I'm like, I'm sorry, excuse me? (laughs) Can we do the math? I'm not, like, great at math, but I will tell you this. Yeah, Spanish plus Spanish equals Spanish. Don't always say Latina plus Latina. Well, she's Puerto Rican. I think she's Puerto Rican, right. I'm not sure what Lewis is. Maybe Dominican, Puerto Rican. Brianna? I feel like. Straight Puerto Rican? I'm nearly positive Brianna's Puerto Rican. Like straight Puerto Rican. Yeah. Listen, it was just a little confusing. I don't know what she means by that. But also, let's just take a look at Stella in our minds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does she look like Lois? No. Does she look like Brianna? No. Maybe she look Brittany? Yes. Does she look like Roxanne? Yes. Maybe Brittany and Roxanne scissored her out. Do you think so? Maybe. Could do you think that when Brianna got pregnant with her or Stella number one, right. she gave her up for adoption? And that's why Lewis isn't really involved because Lewis is like, I know that that's the scissor baby. Uh, <laughs> that's Stella it is too. the scissor baby. That's like yeah. um on Fresh Prince. It's Aunt Hillary too. Yes, it is. Uh, Aunt not, Hillary won. Not Hillary. The best. Not Hillary. Hillary was the it was Aunt, Aunt Viv. Viv. Aunt Sorry. Viv one was the best. Yeah. Come on, there's no. I comparison. like Stella She too. left because she didn't like Will Smith, though. <laughs> you think Stella <laughs> left because she didn't like Will Smith too? Maybe she left because she didn't like Lois. Lois, Lois, you hear me, Lewis. I don't know. I mean, you I would change cast members. I would have been like, "Hey, do you mind if I bow out?" Right. And they're like, "You're six months old," and it's like, "Yeah, but you've seen my dad, right?" Yeah, I don't want to be just, here anymore. I'm just gonna. Can you use a stunt double? Yeah, that would. Are that any would of the be best case twins scenario. available? I would really Best not case like scenario. <laughs> so Macy is drunk in solidarity. Yes. With Cheyenne. She's mm-hmm. like, you're sad about the Confederate flag. I'm going to bud light about it. Right. But Macy was like all the way had Cheyenne's back. And yeah, she, no, no, she did. She knew did. what was going on from exactly. like jump. Well, Kate was tired and went to bed. That was a little bit weird, right? They're right. Like, Where's Kate? Well, that was what I found was weird. Like, why did we even mention her then? Like, did she get hammered? Like, what happened? Or was she like, hey, guys, my father-in-law has a mullet. Right. So I'm actually going to sit this one out. Right. Maybe she wore Confederate flag pajamas or something. Like, who knows? She's like, oh, I should go in the tent, I didn't know this was wrong. Sorry, guys. I should go in the tent. I'm going to actually, I'm going to be in the tent for this one. Yeah, I'll be sleeping naked for this one. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, Bree said that the friendship with Leah is forced. And then they talked about DMs. They talked about the pack. And Cheyenne said Leah is closed off. Why are we pulling that? I don't know. And Leah's like, well, it's my outlet. Social media is my outlet. Grow up. No, yeah. you know what? You know what you are? A coward. The end. You're a coward. But also, Leah, we had the pact. Right. Well, that's the thing. And why is she why is she saying, I'm sorry if you felt? Oh, I'm sorry if you felt. Meh, meh, yeah, meh, meh, I'm meh, out meh. on Leah. And I'm like, oh, you're a dick. Yeah, I'm you out just on that are. one. Uh-huh. All right. Well, let's move on to season one, episode seven. Okay. Uh, where we start off uh, with uh, an airboat. Okay. So I wrote airboat and I wasn't sure if that's what they were called. No, no. They're an airboat. Okay. Oh, 
Um, Cheyenne is um, Amber's having the time of her life. I just want you to know this is the best trip that's ever happened to her. Yeah, yeah. She's really excited. She is so into it. She's clapping by herself. Um, I have something written, but I can't. What does it say? Oh, eating. Okay. So Cheyenne has lost weight. So they all comment on her weight. And she says she's been working out and eating like a bird. Great. Yeah. Oh, right. And everybody's cheering that. That's good. Great. Uh-huh. Great, guys. That's amazing. That's a good thing to celebrate, guys. Yeah. Let's celebrate mm-hmm. that for sure. Um, If you're struggling with body image, go listen to RIP Diets. Please really listen to RIP Diets. Yeah. I was on it. We were both on it. Me too. Oh, yeah. You were on it too. That's right. Listen, oh, we God. all have trouble, guys. Listen we, to it. Please don't. Mm-hmm. Don't no, uh, listen to it. Please no, no, don't no. do things like this. Yeah, yeah. don't don't praise and also like that. don't praise it and don't I don't know. Don't be comments on someone's weight. Don't comment on anyone's weight. In fact, even when like when I lose a couple of pounds, I'm always like, Tracy, I'm not sure how to express even mm-hmm. this without yeah. because I you know, you don't want to. I just feel like there's no right way to say it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be like, I'm so happy. I lost right. weight because my life isn't defined by my weight. Sure. But it's like, it's just weird. It was a weird thing to, it's very out. weird. And it's don't celebrate that. And if one of your friends is speaking like this, talk to them about yeah, it. Yeah. Be like, Hey, you should eat food. Yeah. Um, but so also ha- don't say go eat a cheeseburger because people used to say that to me. And oh I yeah. That's a great, that's a great uh-huh. little comment right there. So, but she hasn't found a therapist, but she found the rage room. That really, that really pissed me off. Not good. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. That's she like didn't... her saying, well, I'm into puzzles now. That's the therapy. <laughs> well, the what? airbags dented her boob and her muscle collapsed. Yeah. And that, so her implant shifted. Who knew she right. had implants? I didn't even know. Oh, we all did. Did we? Yeah, we all did. We all watched her get uh, an entire mommy lift. When did this happen? A uh, while ago. A long time ago? Before A's, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I knew You were there seat. for it. You were there okay, for I'm it. Okay, I'm sure I was. I told you, I black out sometimes. Um. So she's getting surgery, and her bachelorette party is after the surgery. And uh, Jade said that, um, I don't know what, why did I write like this? So I have the other side. Oh, Jade said crying is healing. She's like, it's good to cry because you're yes. healing. That's how you know you're healing. I must be a scab because I am so healed. Well, basically, I think that Cheyenne doesn't really know how to let it out. Yes. Listen, I when she, the way she was talking, I have not been through things that Cheyenne has been through. No. But like, I totally get it because like I struggle with it's people say like, it's okay not to be okay. And like, I struggle with that so hard. So it's like, I totally get what she's saying, but I also don't think you should tell your friend cry. That'll just heal you. I tell you that all the time though. Yeah, I know. I've cried on the podcast. Thank you so much. Cry into the microphone. Yeah. Thank you. So right. Move closer. (laughs) I love when you cry into the microphone. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to hear Noel cry into the (laughs) microphone, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast where I have made her cry into the microphone. So many last times. December, I cried into the microphone. <laughs> I remember Stop. it like it was yesterday. Stop. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So we're going to move on to Ashley. And here's the thing. I took notes. Not great here. So I'm like flipping back and forth. Between Wait, but did you girls. see that they overturned Roe versus Wade and they were sitting outside with it? Because that's what I have next. As my- Right. So I unfortunately um, don't know where that is. All right. We'll find it. Somewhere. So we'll go to Ashley right now. It's here <laughs> somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's here somewhere. All right. So um, Ashley, <sighs> Holly uh, made a puppy. <laughs> Holly made a sculpture. She's like, it's a sculpture. I but I love that Bar's like, that's actually really good. <laughs> Bar goes to Ashley's salon and she wants to go to nursing school because she wants a med spa. So she wants to right. be able to do other things and she wants to move to Vegas. I don't think that's a good idea. No, but I mean, you're not moving into a casino. It's more that you have a support system. Um, Holly has a routine. Yeah. She's going to start school. Okay, sure. But here's the other part of it. Yeah. Bar's friends right. are up where they are right now. So maybe it would be not so bad to go somewhere else right now. See, but I feel like they live there and Bar has friends in Vegas too. Well, I guess you we'll know? see what happens. Yeah. So, um, no one knows where Amber is, but uh, right. <laughs> Leah says, quote, too bad Ashley didn't come, but I'll make sure she gets her bracelet. 
that was Leah's voiceover. Really? I thought Macy said that. Uh, I think it was Leah, but it was whatever it was. If it was Leah or Macy, one of it was, the bad voiceovers. Right? It was a voiceover. Yeah. That's when they start talking about Roe versus Wade. Leah's okay. like, oh, my God, guys. Here's the thing. I don't even know how to say it. Kate, shut the fuck up. We have to fight for women's right. Do you even know what that means, Kate? But they're all, this is entirely scripted. I don't hate that they brought it up. No, it's me totally neither. scripted. Tracy, just their reactions, like it made me LOL. Yeah, but they all had and to it's like, like, okay, Tyler, you know, like she was acting like Tyler. I know she was. Yeah, so, it was just lame. Macy goes out with her mom to discuss Roe v. Wade. Right. Um, and she said that her oh, arm. Primo. In- <laughs> her arm implant expires in two months right and taylor doesn't want to get a vasectomy and her mom's like well i told your dad to stop blowing loads in me unless he gets a vasectomy Thanks and it's so like much. do you think that um <laughs> it had anything to do with his bad checks do you think he was writing checks that his body couldn't cash Chasey has Tracy has a fixation on this man in his chest. <laughs> you do. So you think it's so funny. He was writing checks so at that little ass wood paneled house that he worked in. He got in trouble for like grand larceny or something, oh, right? So funny. Yeah. Grand larceny. It, listen, it it's sounds grander than it yeah. is. It's like thirty five hundred dollars. That, that's larceny. like racketeering. I don't even know what that means. I'm like, do you go to the gym and do that? You like, go to the. It's mean? actually at the bocce ball court. I think you. It is. It is. You have to wear a feel or at a pool hall. Yeah, a Sergio Tacchini. <laughs> um, so her dad got one after 12 years. She's right. like, I took 12 years of loads from your dad. And then I was like, no, no more live active loads. Yeah, I don't blame her. She's like, I want dead loads. She looks good. Macy's yeah, her mom, mom. Her mom always yeah. looks good. Mm-hmm. All right. So now let's go to Brianna because, again, I'm not great at taking notes. OK, so she's secretly dating someone. Dun, dun, dun. It's Bobby in Detroit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I love the phone call. I love this phone call. Uh, what? When he calls her and he's like, are you going to come here? Mm-hmm. And when she's in the car. Yeah. Do you want to reenact I, it? Well, because I have I had next that she she's going to go and she's going to hit up. Okay. Kate and Ty. Do you want to yeah. reenact it? Sure. I don't know if I remember. What I'm going to be Bobby and you're going to be Brianna. Okay. Okay. Hello, Brianna. This is Bobby, your secret boyfriend. Oh, hi, baby, Bobby. Oh, thank you so much for calling me baby Bobby. I love when you call me baby Bobby. (laughs) I got tickets to a thing. Do you want to go to it? Oh, I would like to go to a thing. Okay, it's soon. Do you want to come? Yeah, I think that I'm going to come out there soon for the thing. Okay, it's just it's soon. um, So are you free? I'm free for the thing that soon. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll see you at the time that we just decided on, right? I think that I'll see you then for the place. Okay, perfect. Because we're going to go to the, th- the thing. I can't wait to go to the thing. baby. You might Bobby. not have to wait or you might wait. We don't know. There's no way to know what time or day it is. <laughs> we don't even know when it is. And I'm going to hit up Kate and Ty. <laughs> okay, great. He's like, it's in the next few weeks or next year or never. <laughs> yeah, maybe Or right now. It's actually right now. It's tickets to this or that. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here at the thing right now. I'm in the mosh pit. Yeah, I'm waiting or the show. I'm security oh. or the theater. <laughs> Who knows? It's a monster truck rally. I know. That's the thing. It's like, what were they doing? He's like, yeah, I got tickets. What? So and when and when were you doing it? There's nobody to know. It's over here, though. Mm-hmm. It's over there. It's the well, that's Detroit. where I'm going to go. It's the Detroit concert. I can't wait to go to Detroit with you. I for love the thing. The Detroit concert. But when? I don't know. It's Soon. a secret concert. It's a secret. It's a um, it's it's Chappelle. Okay, so let's go. He's to doing Chappelle. a pop up. Okay, is Saifa doing the anyone? Music is, for him? Saifa's DJing, and uh, Chappelle is uh, doing a pop up in Detroit at uh, the Lions Stadium. I'll go to that. I can't tell you when it is though. You're just gonna have to be here, and then if it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? And then if not, I have to come back. Right. In case it does again. Doing nothing. Okay, I'll just have, keep having back. done nothing. I like doing nothing. All right. Well, you might be doing that. So it's in a couple weeks. Right. And she's like, okay, sounds great. I'll be there. The end so, click. So she takes a walk with Roxy. I love how they only take a little baby walk all the time in this complex. Yeah, to this little triangle. All right. And she always has on, as you like to say, motorcycle shorts. I love the motorcycle. She only wears motorcycle shorts. But she 
well also she lives in florida yeah but, and then she stuffs like toilet paper in the back of it or something i don't know what she does or something so she tells Roxy about Bobby. He has an 11 year old daughter. He's 42. She's 28. I, I like that. Roxanne's like, and how old are you? It's like, how old she's are like, you? no, Why seriously. How? No, I no, forget. Seriously, I just. Yeah. I'm feeling very loopy. <laughs> I forgot. I am. There's no way to know. Out. <laughs> There's no way to know. I am loopy. Uh, she met him on. I was going to say Jersey Shore family vacation. She Wrong on, show. She, she was she also on, on that show. She met him on Jersey Shore. Her face is all the way overfilled. Her face is filled. Her face is overfilled. Mm-hmm. Her butt She's is starting overfilled. to look Her like Shida's over- doctor. It's not great. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to go back to Macy. You ready? Okay. Interesting. This is an interesting way to it's take It's not notes. good. Okay. It's not good. Yeah. I was like, this is Noelle's last day on the podcast. She's okay. going to be like, hey, listen, I like you and all, but like, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. All right. So Bentley's getting a haircut because it's hard to putt with his hair in his face. And I got to tell you, I have never ever related to Bentley so much. Okay. But Bentley had short hair two episodes ago. It grew. He's been taking okay. biotin. Okay. Been taking biotin. Very good. So now he's been using bio silk <laughs> and taking biotin. Taking biotin. He got a keratin treatment. Yeah. He's very bio-y. He's bio. He's made uh-huh. of bio. He's biology. Tracy was trying to teach me earth science today in Michael's. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I was teaching <laughs> you about plant cells. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank no you for problem. teaching me. Mm-hmm. The cell walls and the yeah, anyway. oh, clump a clump, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you did not pay attention in science class. I didn't fucking pay attention in school. I was terrible in school. Mitochondria. Anyway, I sounds when, delicious. <laughs> when I putt, my hair always gets in my face. And even if I clip it back, sometimes it just. Is that what happens? Yes. And I understand, Bentley. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm glad. I'm making my Maybe hair you cut for next like... season. All right, do it. Maybe into a mullet. No, because the mullet's not working. I need to Maybe get like a, a crew cut. Mullet. I need a crew cut. Maybe like my mom's hair. Oh my God, like an orange mullet. Yeah, sounds good. I like that your mom cuts her bangs just an inch from her scalp. Yeah, within an inch of its life. Yes. <laughs> we were, I love wait, it. I have so many things to say about this and we're going to have to say it on Patreon, but I just want to let you guys know that yeah. we were out today shopping and I just stopped what I was doing and I looked at your mother and I was like, you got to stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> She's like, what do you mean? I was like, just leave your hair alone. You got to leave your hair alone. It's a compulsion. I know. Yeah. She it's like a compulsion that needs it's to It's like stop. how people overpluck their eyebrows. She overcuts her hair with. You're right. With Fiskar scissors. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah. All right. So um, Macy's like, hey, guys, we're going to talk about Taylor coming in me. Mm-hmm. You want to sit in here and listen? And they're like, like sex ed talk. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah. They don't um, care. And they're like, Bentley, we're going to cut off Taylor's balls. And he- Bentley, LOL, during this, though. He's like, why would you want to cut your balls off? That was so funny. Oh, God, it was so natural. It was, I know, was but real. no, no, he was dead serious. Yeah. But also, I mean, that's how you you neuter a dog. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was confused. Um, She's like, does anyone here want any other loads inside of me? And Jade is like, I would like a baby brother. She's like, well, look to your left because mm-hmm. you have one, my friend. Oh, that was so funny. And they're like, Maverick, would you like another baby? He's like, I would like a pug. They're like, well, that is a dog. <laughs> so he's like, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> mm-hmm. So she tells him to get a vasectomy. And Bentley is very upset about getting oh, her nuts so cut off. Funny. So now he's going to call Tyler to talk about his balls. Why the hell? Call Gary. Call Gary. Why do you want to talk to Tyler? Why are you talking? So, okay. The kids are playing in the garage. They don't get to go outside, right? No. The whole family, the, they think the garage is outside, right? There are flowers in the attic. Yeah. Do they have like a moat around their house? Yeah. They're like the little twin kids in the attic and flowers in the attic that just never go outside. And then one of them dies because he never gets the sun. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Why do you think they joined so many teams? They're like, please let me go outside. So Jade Taylor- is so cute. She's a mini. She's very cute. Macy, yeah. So Taylor calls Jim Carrey. And he's like, man, there's smoke and there's needles and the needle hurts so bad. Well, that's the thing. It's like you're not helping the situation. Okay, at all. but also I got to tell you something. I feel no sympathy. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. And I know that this is mean. I feel no sympathy for a man that has to get a vasectomy. Do you know what we have to do like all the time? Do you know oh, the I things know. that we have to I know. do? Yeah, but do you know that men can't handle anything? They Too just bad. can't. Too bad. Yeah, men can't handle things. 
too bad. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty upsetting. But they did show Tyler brushing horses. So that was cute. Okay, but where is that? Because I wrote it down. Uh, there's oh here no okay yes all right well here okay so now um we're gonna go back to Cheyenne now this okay. is gonna be really fun okay okay so Ryder says they they open up and my Ryder goes it's gonna be a busy day today oh I love her uh huh because tomorrow's the surgery and mm. Cheyenne's gonna have lunch with Zena but I also love that Cheyenne has to tell Ryder and the stuffed animals about the surgery that's first she she gives an entire speech I love that to all the stuffed animals she's like uh can i tell you something she's like can you tell my stuffed animals as well or like do we have to earmuff them oh that was so funny so she's like listen you're gonna stay with your dad right so Corey comes over and cheyenne starts crying and everyone's like hey cheyenne i love that they rally yeah me too is this like the cutest family it's so nice like they're very lucky there's not a lot of that in the world Mm -hmm. so she has court next week Okay. And that is very scary. Um, and then it's the surgery day. Right. And her eye is swelling. What's happening with her eye? I think she um, like has like a, a sty under here, like my mother in law has. Okay. It looked the same way. Yeah, it looked puffy. So yeah, her eye is rough. swelling. They call her, they reschedule the surgery because the doctor has food poisoning. Okay, great. I wanted to faint. Uh-huh. I was like, when was the last time I saw her doctor? Uh huh. When did and they he has film to go this? to the hospital? He has to go to the hospital. That's how bad it is. Also, yeah. I don't know what's going on. She's super sad. She's crying. She said that she's going to have to cancel her bachelorette trip. It's like, and here's the thing. When she's crying and saying all this stuff, I'm like, I get this. She's just so overwhelmed. Oh, she's spiraling. Yeah. The I'm thing like, is, it's not spiral. about the surgery. It's about everything. She has a lot of trauma. She has not worked through. And yes. she's so overwhelmed. Yeah. She yep. needs to go back to that rage room. Um, yeah, she does. Uh huh. Kate and Tyler, they're on the farm and Nova is looking Tyler in the face and lying about brushing this horse. And she's very this tired. horse is naughty. Oh, I wouldn't know. I've never seen a horse like this. Yeah, I don't. Also, I didn't realize that they had like a stable. On they have property. like, oh, yeah. I mean, listen, it's Kate, you know? Yeah, that's true. So uh, also Kate's teeth look so good here. Did you know? Oh, she probably got new ones. Yeah, they look. They look really. She's had caps for a really long time. Yeah, but I don't know. She must have gotten them redone because maybe I noticed they showed her like a little bit of her profile. Yeah, they look so good. Maybe she went to Turkey. They look way better than April's. Maybe she went to chicken. Mm -hmm. I just ate some chicken. Yum. I love chicken. So she FaceTimes with Brianna from Detroit Uh and they meet for lunch and uh, Tyler comes. Mm hmm. Of course he does. Great. And They're codependent. They pretend they don't know about Bobby. They're like, why are we here? Why are we here? Why are you here? Why are we here? Why are you here? Right. It's okay. not like like you didn't ask her on the phone. Like, what are you doing in Detroit? No, they don't ask. She, they're right. like, when are you coming? She's like, in a few weeks. She's right. like, OK, I'll beat you there. Mm-hmm. And she's See like, there. where? She's like, the place. There's no way to know. The place with the stuff. If you can figure it out, you can meet me there. So um, she said that Bobby went from cast to crew great from from well she no no she went from cast to crew yep. because she was she doing said she like upgraded basically. yeah she went okay okay and she How hit about, on him yeah great so she said that she would move away from florida okay brianna i'm sure you would maybe she would though i don't know man she's just dying to settle down i guess well yeah. ashley gets her bracelet in the mail right Okay, she tells Barr she has good news and bad news. They're going to be moving in two weeks. But the good news is that she got into nursing school. Right. And he's not worried about drinking in Vegas, basically. No. Uh, mm-hmm. he, even though he just got out of rehab, he doesn't feel scared about alcohol. He's been around alcohol. He's fine. Right. But also, like, I bet I am just speculating here. He's doing the whole casual drinking. I don't think that's okay. 100% The not way drinking. he was speaking. Yeah. He was like, yeah, no, I mean, the point of rehab isn't to be sober. It's just right. to be better. It's just to not binge. That's all. But I can still drink every day. Just not get blackout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he's still like drinking. I hope not. I also feel like, listen, this might be controversial. I don't know. But I think that if you have a partner who's an alcoholic and really struggling with alcohol, you shouldn't be drinking yourself in your house. Yeah, I mean, there are definitely things that like kind of like, why? Why do yeah. you need to? Yeah. I got to tell you, I had a friend. I don't have her anymore because she's a terrible, goddamn, horrible person. She's oh, I like know. rotten to the core. Uh-huh. And her husband was an addict uh-huh. and she just 
would not stop. Like yeah. she was blacking out herself. She was throwing it in his face. She was making sure that he was around it constantly. Right. I mean, and she was like, that's his problem. I don't care. Right. That infuriates me. Then you don't mm -hmm. give a shit about your partner. You just don't. No, I mean, she didn't care about anything, including her children. She was super abusive to her kids. It's funny. I have a friend just like her, an old so friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, RIP. Yeah. Anyway. RIP everyone. <laughs> yep. Um, and that's all I got. Um, let's see. Macy Taylor Vasectomy. <laughs> oh, well, we met Brianna's man too. Oh, why didn't I have that? Yeah. We met Brianna's man with his stupid like orange glasses. No, no, or yellow glasses, whatever the hell color they were. Where did I put that? Oh, Brianna and Bobby. I do have okay. that. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, so Brianna and Bobby FaceTime and she's going to be filming with Bobby and he wears his best fishing hat. Gross. But don't oh. worry, because his fishing hat matches his shorts. OK, but as soon as I see him, I'm like, don't like him. Bad vibes. Very bad, bad vibes. vibes. He's full of it. Yeah, he's full of shit. She said I that know. she doesn't want a failed relationship on camera again. Well, it's over, honey. He said that he has. He's totally comfortable in front of the camera. He gives zero fucks and he can't wait. He can like just see them like being together forever. He wants to meet the kids and she's like, oh, not yet. You could just meet my mom. Yeah. At first. Yeah. You're not meeting my kid. Who are you? No, I don't like it. I think he has such bad vibes. I don't see them together. Yeah, you said that they broke up, right? I know that you said yeah. something about them breaking up, but it was only on one site. So yeah, I, don't know I think if they broke up, real. but I just don't see them being together. No, me neither. And the thing is, unfortunately, she's like a little giggly. Like she actually likes him. She likes the attention, I think. I don't think that she even knows him. I don't think she knows him, but I think you could be excited about someone you don't really don't know too well. I think she likes that he treats her nicely. She said Maybe. he treats her super nicely. No, like, I know, but he's playing a game. Oh, I don't like him at all that I could see through. But that's the thing. So it's like, I don't like it. These women have really a lot of them have trouble seeing through these men like Amber with Matt. Leah and Jalen like this is like a pattern. And Big, it's like if you guys you can't need... see who Jalen is from a mile away. We saw it. Yeah, of course. He was wearing Jones, New York suits from day one. <laughs> Tracy, when he did that photo shoot with like, what was the Lamborghini or something? I was like, this has him to and Hillary Clinton got the same sponsorships. Yes, they did. From the same clothing companies. I can't do it. I just don't. I don't like very bad guys. If you want to hear more about the gossip, go over to teen mom podcast on Twitter, teen mom trash talk on Instagram. You could follow Noelle at Noe girl on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. Tracy for all of my upcoming stand up comedy show dates. We have tons there, including uh, New York Comedy Festival at mm -hmm. Caroline's. I'll be performing on the Wednesday. I think it's November 9th. Uh, so go to tracycarnazzo.com and check all of that out. And uh, just give us a five-star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you go right down there in the comments and leave us a comment about what your favorite part of the podcast is. And um, when I post the clips of this, yeah. I want yeah, can you, guys you guys to like them, comment on them. If yeah. you love it, share it. Share our, please share our clips. Yeah, uh, come on, Nick, we need Nick, some hype, guys. Nick Monroy Nick works is hard. Nick Panini, Nick Monroy, Nikki Clips. He's working, de leche. <laughs> he's working tirelessly. Day, day and, and night. night. He is working day and night on all of our clips. So make sure you follow him, Nick the Nini on Instagram uh, and just like our clips because he's posting them. He's making them. There was a manatee with a hat on. Like, come on. When what you go to our Instagram, any of our Instagrams that I post clips, I tag Nick in it. OK, so guys, so make sure you're following there. Nick. Mm -hmm. um, also, yeah, there's a lot more. Um, <laughs> There's a lot more. Go over to our group. If you guys want to chat with us about the show or about the podcast, don't DM us. That's not the way to go. Don't do it. Please don't do that. Please uh -uh. go into the groups and post. Um, we have teen mom trash talk on Instagram on uh, Facebook and the password to get it is besties, B E S T I E S answer all of the questions and you can interact with us and we're going to interact back with you, but you cannot DM us just about the podcast all day long, every day, all day long. Well, that's the thing. So it's like, and then I have people DM me and they're like, I know I'm not supposed to DM you. 
Okay, but, then you know, don't. But, that, then but, don't. but they want to ask me like a no. random question, not about the podcast. And it's like, that's okay. Post it in Thank the group. Thank you. But it's better for me to group. post it in the group. Also, I can't have all these private talks about about the show? the show. This is why we have a podcast. Right. We're going to share it together. We're sharing uh-huh. together. Share together with us. Because that's also all a really lot of ask. times it'll be the day after the podcast. It'll be the day after episode airs and we haven't even spoken about it yet. And it's like, I, I can't we, I can't even talk about it. Yet. I'm going to lose everything I have to say. If you yeah. want the podcast early, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. And that's where you will get the episode the day we record it. That's which right. is like super early. So go over to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast right down there in the show notes. Mm-hmm. Do all the stuff and we'll see you next week. TracyCarnazzo.com, TracyCarnazzo.com, TracyCarnazzo.com. We have merch. Bye. Bye forever.